Is it Devin Haney? Uh, Devin Haney. Yeah. God what does damn. he mean? What does he mean to you? Every fucking thing in the world. Everything. Dev means everything to me. You got so many people out here trying to discredit Devin um, like he isn't the undisputed lightweight champ of the motherfucking world, but the proof is in the pudding. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Is it Devin Haney? Uh, Devin yeah, Haney. Yeah. Uh, what, does he mean? what does he mean to you? Every fucking thing in the world. Everything. Dev means everything to me. You got so many people out here trying to discredit Devin um, like he isn't the undisputed lightweight champ of the motherfucking world, but the proof is in the pudding. Opinions are opinions. You know what I'm saying? Opinions are like assholes. Everybody have one. But the fact of the matter is that motherfucker went over there without his team, without his star motherfucking player, his daddy. He went over there and trained, made way, you know what I'm saying? Sat there while he had a skinny face motherfucker up there talking shit to him. And he still whooped his ass with grace. Wow. And still didn't disrespect him. Just said, if the price is right, if everything makes sense, we can run his back. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on. People want, people want to take away what that boy is so motherfucking bad. But the truth of the matter is, you can't. You can't call him broke. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers kept saying, he the email champion. Now the motherfucker got all the belts. What you talking about now? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why, listen. No matter what he do, somebody always got some shit to say. You got Ryan Garcia, feminine looking ass, up there talking about, you see this team? Did you, let's not make our fight. Bitch, you don't fight no motherfucking body. You talking about their fight is boring with motherfucking Ken Vosis. Yes, you just fought Tago. Who the fuck is Tago? We Who man. is Tago? I know. She read. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Y'all just think motherfuckers just talk. That's the, that's the dopest thing about the motherfucking internet. You show up in a motherfucking fight, you show up at the tank fight versus Roly with a motherfucking tuxedo on looking like a broke ass cake piece. Now get the fuck off. You know what I'm saying? Wipe the eyeline off your motherfucking ass. Fuck is you talking about? Stay in your lane. Man. You talking, he talk all that shit, but yet, bitch, you ain't stepped in the ring with him yet. Wow. You ain't stepped in the ring with him yet. Everybody who said some shit about him, even Roly. Roly say, fuck Devin Haney. Ugly motherfucker with his ugly ass. You sitting up there, you doing all that fucking talking, but yet the sparring video is out when Devin Haney is beating your motherfucking ass. You can barely stand up, baby knees. You know what I'm saying? Tank gave you motherfucking crack mouth, yet you still open those dick suckers to talk. Knock it the fuck off. This ain't that. <laughs> wow. You can sure talk, can't you? I sure the fuck can. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I can. <laughs> Damn it. This ain't the wild one. Especially when you got a passion for somebody. Yeah. I can see the passion coming. I wish coming. you would promote bo a boss talk, but we'll she go up. She got the nigga. passion. <laughs> wow. Now we'll go up, nigga. I already know it, baby. You going to be big, nigga, like the gutter TV thing. Say, mm -hmm. you serious. I told you earlier, I could feel the energy. I be watching everything. I'm an energy guy, too. So I know, man. And to tell them where you gonna end up at. It's just a stop for you. I hope you don't forget about us. You know what I'm talking I, about? I, trust me, I won't. I have your son and your brother. Oh, they gonna wear the hell out of you. God, they love you. I'm like, man, these niggas made it happen. My, my brother love y'all's show and just love you. Man, he he, he come for y'all, man. And it's dope the way he, he love boxing, too, and you guys educate him. Like I said, he can sit right on his lazy boy and just watch y'all all day. He love boxing. He love football. He <laughs> love it. Yeah. And y'all, you guys are coming into everybody's living room, man, and basically giving people hope too. During that COVID time, you know how many people, you know, crashed out because yeah. they didn't they didn't know what to do with that time. So you got to think about that. You guys came in at, during a time that you don't know how many lives you you affected. Mm -hmm. You I've, see what I'm saying? I've heard that. Real I've talk. Heard that. Has anybody ever? Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.